Okay guys, well, it's been a long time since I recorded something, so I thought, oh, go ahead, let me go ahead and do some recording. So I'm here at the uh, 22, the Punjabi Dhaba, if you can see it there. So it's a pretty cool place. Uh, I just spoke to the owner, and he actually is a Harley rider. So I'm going to get him started out here, and if he gets his bike here, I will show him some roads out here. We probably ride for a couple of hours and stuff. So he's pretty excited about it. Anyway, so let me tell you what's been going on. So they're going to put a gas station out here. So pretty good uh, setup here they got. Uh, uh, with some Indian food too. So it kind of helps me out. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to probably make it my Friday. Uh, Friday trip out here like I used to do to Casey uh, probably solo but <laughs> you know uh, you can't do much about it oh, sun straight in my eyes so uh, what's been going on uh, so yeah I sold my 310 GS uh, to a dude in Oklahoma so actually he is uh, Dragoo class alumni so it worked out really well so he's planning to take that bike to uh, Colorado and do some BDRs and stuff. So I think, uh, oh, that's a bird. That's a big one. <laughs> so uh, that was fantastic. Uh, of course, uh, you know, I sent the payoff check to BMW and they lost my check. <laughs> oh, golly, never sent a cashier check by mail. Right? I believe yeah, I can nothing can be done for 90 days I believe man crazy stuff anyway so uh, so that's been happening and back on the 1250 it is unbelievable this bike is so good today I was riding my favorite twisties again oh it's just fantastic bike <laughs> I just that's just unbelievable uh, so I'm really enjoying that uh, back on this bike but I've been pretty busy so can you imagine in about uh, I got the bike in March and now it's uh, June and I got only 250 miles on it haven't even done the first service <laughs> anyway uh, yeah we'll get back to it but uh, so I'm probably going to make this my usual uh, Friday evening trip now because uh, you know, it's a good place to hang out here with these guys here so, uh, and it's a good ride for me from uh, my place on Highway 4 and that section is just gorgeous, you know. Today I was, you know, trying to uh, perfect my riding. Uh, my right turn is uh, beautiful. The left turns uh, still need some work in the sense uh, I know what to do, but it's not muscle memory yet. So uh, I was uh, practicing that. Now this is off 20 and I'm going to hit the town of Gordon and then from there we go up to 180 and then get back on uh, on uh, Highway 4 back to Rayford. So that's the plan. It's beautiful out here. This is called the uh, hill country of uh, North Texas. Look at this. Hills everywhere. Where can you expect this? You won't think it's Texas. You won't think it's not Texas, but it is. It's a kind of, uh, this is part of the Palo Pinto County. It is just gorgeous. So, uh, that's the plan. And uh, guess what? I forgot my wallet today. So I was thinking, man, I don't even have money to fill gas. So I don't know what to do. I probably turn back and go. But then I realized my phone actually has Samsung Pay on it. So, so guess what? I could do everything with my phone, which is beautiful. So, anyway, so that's uh, that's what happened today. So it's good to have your phone connected with your Apple Pay or something. I guess I know <laughs> I'm probably the last one to do it, but uh, that saved my day today. So this is the town of Gordon. <laughs> Nothing there, but it's beautiful. Oh, 
uh, in the town of Greyford we got a note saying that they are actually filming what is that called loneliness or some some weird uh, spy thriller which is going to come so they closed off the road they've been closing off because they're going to be filming in that area <laughs> uh, that's it they pick up these small towns and uh, do their filming <laughs> I guess these are a little pretty too you know it's not just the plain Jane uh, uh, you know North Texas town look at this look at how beautiful this is and this is this is not even the best road you know so I guess uh, that's what they do uh, out here okay, look at that. and they have actually opened a new are uh, not open yet it's coming up uh, Palo Pinto State Park first state park to be open since 2009 you know so that's going to be fun and uh, hopefully uh, I'm going to be uh, checking that out why is this guy not oh there you go okay now I know where I'm going <laughs> so this is uh, I don't remember what road this is but uh, another nice road which goes to 180 there are a lot of these parallel roads uh, see the right turn I was not leaning far enough uh, so I was getting into not, not getting into trouble but I wasn't doing it correctly I gotta lean far around here so now I fixed that so the left turn I was doing that naturally uh, going this way get your bike to lean on your leg you know, the bike is actually resting out here so this is a pretty straight road uh, it's just that uh, you're just cutting through not too many hills on this road but anyway so that is uh, what it is I thought I'll give a quick update uh, nothing fancy no fancy trips yet eventually I will I guess but uh, that's pretty much what it is so glad to be back on the 1250 I ordered the uh, Tura Tech crash brace, cylinder brace for it. I need to get that and maybe do some little off road. I ordered the uh, headlight guard from AliExpress. That seems, uh, you know, a little thick, and the uh, screw out here is not going in, it's not long enough. So I might have to remove the washer and try to fix it in. Uh, anyway, minor things. You know, I'm not good at all these things. <laughs> I get uh, irritated quickly but uh, anyway so that's pretty much what it is I will catch you guys later see look at those gravel roads there begging to be explored eventually I will so but now I'm kind of comfortable with the off-road and gravel road so it doesn't uh, you know uh, pull me in as it used to do uh, a few years ago uh, so I'm in a, in, in a way I think uh, I'm in a happy place <laughs> you know I'm just uh, comfortable uh, uh, doing my thing and I think uh, I have nothing to prove and uh, you know I've learned a lot of the skills now it's just an, and for the most part it's become muscle memory so it's an enjoyable ride there's no stress anywhere and look at this road beautiful going down straight down here and the greatest thing is uh, you won't see any cars on these roads <laughs> you know there's nobody here Gordon probably has a population of 500 or something <laughs> anyway so uh, that that is what it is here so uh, I will uh, catch you guys I think there's a small section here which is uh, got a little bit of a hill that might come oh I think it's right here coming up that might be interesting and uh, uh, that's what it is um, uh, I guess everybody's waiting for the new GSA looks like it's gonna be the, the old GS yeah, the, the new GS is as expensive as the old GSA so that's gonna be <laughs> interesting the new GSA is gonna be probably much more expensive than that so and it's gonna have a lot of uh, electronic features which uh, I don't care about so I think I'm really happy with uh, this this dude out here and uh, the G 
GS has lost its way, lost its look. It's kind of become like a middleweight, skinny looking bike. You know, I'm not into that. <laughs> uh, look at the beautiful hill on the left, right here. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think uh, the GSA might follow suit and, and look a little skinny. You know, I'm not really uh, for that look. And the uh, headlight too, I think uh, they uh, made a mistake with that uh, big gap, uh, big place for that uh, radar or whatever sensor. I think that's going to shrink in, the, in a few years and the headlight is go going to go back up. Uh, to where it belongs so I think there's going to be some model changes uh, minor model, cosmetic changes coming up in the GS uh, to make it look a little better than what it is right now anyway so uh, that's what it is and uh, I'm just trying to oh there it is oh look at that bird so this is where the section is a little bit of a hill we have to cross over we can look at the range there so, uh, so, so you can't you don't think this is North Texas <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if you guys have been out here but it's mostly flat land or a little bit ups and downs but not really any hills like these uh, of course uh, the hill country down south got a little bit more but here you got some bridges and it is, it is what it is but it's nice so the, see the right turn I would be pretty comfortable getting out the body getting the body out the left turn is where I'm working on you know, yeah so this is where I, need. I need to go closer to the mirror that way I can push the right arm and then go closer to the mirror Yep, minor, minor things as uh, what needs to be ironed out, but uh, overall I'm really happy with uh, the way I'm riding. You know, you get to a point where uh, when you're riding now, there is no longer any stress, <laughs> you know, which is what I like, uh, you know. You don't want to have any stress riding a bike. You know, it should be as, uh, as automatic as uh, driving a car. Oh, this is where the 40 mile an hour, so the place where it's got a minor hill going up so it's pretty cool I'm just crossing this hill out here Getting there, getting there. But uh, that's pretty much uh, <laughs> the best part of this <laughs> this road. Uh, anyway, it was great talking to you guys again. I will uh, keep touching base, and uh, we will uh, see you again sometime. Uh, hang loose and ride safe as usual. We got nothing to prove to nobody. Talk to you guys later. Okay, I forgot to mention an important point. Uh, so I was going uh, in that uh, twisty section. Uh, deer, mom and a, and a baby deer just went in front of me. You know, good thing is uh, it was a slower section, and I was keeping my eyes on the road much ahead, and I had uh, enough time to comfortably slow down and uh, and actually enjoy the deer crossing. Uh, so guys, something to keep in mind, you know, watch your speed, keep your eyes open, peel to the side of the roads always, and uh, you'll be alright. Uh, a deer crossing actually can be uh, an enjoyable experience. Uh, anyway, just wanted to put it out there. Talk to you guys later then. Bye. Also.
also one other minor thing I want to give a shout out to my pal uh, Uday Paji he turns uh, 57 today and uh, he's been a great rider we've done a lot of trips uh, together looking forward to some more riding for him and here's a shout out to my friend uh, Uday on his uh, 57th birthday we share a month overlap <laughs> But uh, I saw some pictures and uh, he is having a good day on the bike today. <laughs> anyway, there you go. One more thing. Hopefully this is the last one. <laughs>